It's floating around your head, buddy. That he writes pictures. Yeah, of, why, uh, is it, why does it have to be on my little? Oh, there's Moby. My room. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys see my new CD, guys? <laughs> it's out of this or world. Steve Soderbergh, or maybe Stanley Tucci. Yeah, Tucci. The Tucci. <laughs> a little bit. But no, it's Jim Rat. I like that the penis is on the. I know he the does a spreadsheet for my. my he just stuff. starts. He just starts drawing them all of a sudden and doesn't even not even where he's doing it. Which is a little concerning. A little concerning, right, Mike? Stop putting a by your wiener trying to pretend. It's just sad. Yeah. Okay, Jim Rash, let's get into this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> when was the last time you were on any kind of program where uh, one of the hosts was drawing penises? Uh, uh, information? This, McHale this does that all. No, well, no, okay, no, that's yeah, you're yeah, absolutely McHale right. You're absolutely right. Joel McHale, uh, on all of his scripts, yeah. draws penises yeah. to. Uh, yeah, so don't mark where his laughs are. Don't, don't believe that. He's a vagina guy. I've yeah. seen his vaginas. Very oh. good drawings. Oh, okay. The clits nice. are a little big for my taste. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, they are. He makes wow. big clits. So that's maybe what you thought was a penis. Right? Wow. It was clit. You're gross. <laughs> Why is it that this guy can talk about his anus coming out and being a pink sleeve? And you're like, Bleh! But I say because clit. And you're like, um, you know, that's scatological, childish. Talent. And also, Anderson, I think it's the same way that... Every yeah, the in, Bruno. Every once in a while, I'll saunter up to the uh, female phone ops here, and I'll say something completely out of this world, just the most s- disgusting, perverse stuff. And they, and a lot of times, I've gotten the video supposed to be about you, by the way. We'll get that's that. okay. No, a lot of times, <laughs> they'll say to me, "You know, if anybody else said that to me, I'd be very offended." But something about you saying it doesn't offend me. And I take that as a compliment. And I think maybe me talking about pink sleeve and anal prolapse, just because I'm so talented at talking about butthole explosion, Dr. Wow. Drew likes it, as opposed to, say, someone else talking about No, you know what? Here's the deal. All right. in, in my 10-year-old or even my 12-year-old state, I could have appreciated humor like that. The, the grotesque sexualized humor? No. no, no. You were the one who no. starts. I'm just saying. You Jim, is there, is there this level of grotesque talk on the set of community? Uh, uh, surprisingly, uh, a little bit from Danny Pudi. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Pudi, I run into a Pete's Coffee in Pasadena all the time. Yeah. Uh, and that's the first thing he brings up. The sex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, well, or a butthole explosion. Butthole explosion. I think yeah. butthole explosion. Which was John Spencer's band for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Vote, uh, vote for my content. Yeah. Start. <laughs> do you write any of the episodes, or do you come no, in with anything? Or you just take completely away. Because... Any of my opinions on I, paper, uh, they just want my face kind of to say their lines. Here. But no, uh, I do. Uh, I don't write on the show. Um, uh, so it, it's a great show. I, I it, it's deserving of an Emmy from the television I've seen yeah, this they, year. I hope they recognize us this year. I we're, hope so. We're hoping this is our year, but uh, you just never know. Is that their door? We're knocking this on the door. The- <laughs> <laughs> Knock on this um, <laughs> this sort of faux uh, for Mike kind of stuff. Thank you very much for coming in, Jim yes. Rash. Thanks for having me. Thanks for putting up with his cocks that he draws. Yeah, that's gross. I'm sorry. Good. <laughs> Rock on. Woo, lovely.